Okay, hello, my name is Dylan Meisner. I uh, am an engineer at Nordstrom. Uh, I work on Nordstrom's telemetry infrastructure. I work on uh, Nordstrom's telemetry infrastructure, and uh, I spend a lot of time helping other developers integrate locking and instrumentation into their systems. Uh, tonight I'm talking about Tally, which is a Go metrics interface uh, developed by Uber. And uh, what is telemetry? Um, uh, for software engineers, telemetry generally means logs and instrumentation. This is data we admit from our servers, our containers, our applications uh, to, uh, to achieve a remote observability of our running systems. Logs are typically chatty, loosely structured payloads. Because logs are so dense, they tend to get fairly long to their destination, using up uh, disk and network I.O on the way to uh, getting parsed and indexed and made available to queries. Uh, it feels uh, sometimes like the logs we generate, uh, the more we make, the more we seem to be waiting in noise. So what is instrumentation data? Instrumentation data is structured, lightweight, cheap to record, cheap to query, and transport. Instrumentation systems are more useful the more data you put into them. In 2011, engineers at Etsy famously quit, measure anything, measure everything. If it moves, we track it. Sometimes we'll draw a graph of something that isn't moving yet, just in case it decides to make a run for it. Uh, so where does instrumentation data go, and how do we get it there? Instrumentation data is typically backed by time series databases. These systems are optimized for handling data points indexed by time. They have an API and or a query language that performs server-side processing of calculations across series. The open source ecosystem is rife with implementations of time series databases, and you can stand up many of these systems on your own, but they're not fun to run at scale, so uh, there's some SaaS offerings that I think are worth looking at as well. Some of these systems provide native client libraries, and most can integrate with common wire formats. For Go developers, there are just a few general client libraries that allow us to distance ourselves from the details of the underlying instrumentation systems and protocols. And this is where we introduce Tally, a Go metrics interface uh, with fast buffered metrics and third-party reporters. Tally offers instrumentation primitives uh, and also a, a hierarchical organization structure called the scope, and it takes care of buffering and transferring our metrics to one or more reporting backends. Tally's metrics types are counters, gauges, timers, and histograms. A counter is for reporting events that have happened, for example, logins, cache hits, and so on. A counter's value is always going up or it's always going down. A gauge measures a value that fluctuates over time. For example, memory utilization, a backlog of a queue, and the current, sorry, the current number of go routines. Timers, timers collect durations such as latencies and execution times. Um, Tally has a nice uh, stopwatch object that will return when you start a timer. Uh, starting the timer will set it to the time now, and when that stopwatch is exposed, um, that would be the duration of your timer. Um, and histogram is for observing specific distribution of, of scalar quantities of events. For example, payload sizes and request durations. Tally gives us scopes to hide the details of the metrics reporters, to new up metrics instances, and to attach metadata as tags, and to create subscopes. Subscopes are, subscopes are really neat because they allow you to decompose your, the application you are monitoring. Instead of relying on a global pool of metrics, you can hand down scopes to subcomponents. Um, and also, it's much better than the typical using a naming convention for really long, uh, really long statistics. So, 
The Tyler Project comes with only a few reporters sets, Prometheus, Stats Team, and Uber's own M3 system. The Prometheus, uh, the Prometheus reporter lightly wraps the really excellent Prometheus client APIs. Uh, the Stats D reporter is nice, but it's missing some interesting features that I like to use, such as attaching tags to your Stats D metrics. Um, so typically, like I use uh, InfluxDB when I send Stats D metrics, but and but without the tags, InfluxDB really sort of is missing something. So you might be tempted to, in fact, I uh, I recommend if you're using Stats D to write your own reporter that can incorporate tags. The Stats D reporter, sorry, the, um, and also the third reporter I didn't mention is the M3 reporter. This is an Uber proprietary database and. Um, it's not open source, you can't find it uh, in GitHub, um, but you can find uh, architectural diagrams on it, and it actually looks super scary with uh, Cassandra and Elasticsearch, and I really wouldn't want to run this thing, but I think they run it at scale, and um, so you could choose a reporter that you wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Um, another handy feature is to uh, is the multi-reporter that the Tally library has in it, uh, the multi-reporter just allows you to pass multiple reporters to it as arguments, which uh, I find that handy because uh, when I'm using, say, the Prometheus reporter, uh, there's that that emits that shows metrics on a metrics endpoint that Prometheus will scrape, but it's not very interactive when you spend a lot of time in your console. So if you pass your uh, scope a a uh, Prometheus reporter and a console reporter, then you can really rip out really quickly with a print line to implement. A print line implementation of report counter, report page, report timer, uh, then you kind of get that feedback on the console and you've got a brief example, which is great. And um, great, so that's Tally. Check it out. Any questions? Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure I. I Repeat the question, please. Uh, and then asked if I have more go for artwork. Actually, that was my first attempt, so uh, uh, it was <laughs> a lot of fun. I'm happy to make more. You talked about the multi reporter feature, I want to say. Yeah, the multi reporter. Do you have some code about that? Or? I don't have code of the multi reporter, but it's really simple. It's just you pass it. Uh, New reporter, and you pass a variable number of reporters. So, in theory, you could write to all these systems at once. Okay. Yeah. Did you just use the uh, reporters that came with the project, or did you write? I, I wrote the, the console reporter uh, for myself, um, and like I said, it was really only a few more lines than what you saw in an interface declaration, just print line your arguments. Um, but that is super handy. And then you can sort of turn it on and off depending on what state you're you want your 